Hello, Deborah Jason here with Creative Whispers of the Heart. And today I'm painting ocean waves. You see, I'm using Ranger and Pinata and Marabou inks, different shades of blue. And first I'm doing a rough sketch. There's a little bit of alcohol on my brush. Thinking about the ocean waves on the island of Kauai where I lived for 10 years and just sketching something down on the paper so that I have an, a direction, a direction of where I'm gonna go and a direction of how I want the ocean waves to go. So I'm not really focused on being perfect here. <laughs> just laying down some cobalt blue here for the horizon. And then you see in my palette, I have a little bit of alcohol as well as the colors that I'm using in my palette. Filling in some of the ocean. The black tile also has some ink and some color on it. So I'm using two palettes. I'm going in the motion of the waves using the cobalt blue. Filling in the ocean a bit. And the painting real loosely, as you can see. Filling in a bit of the skyline. And now I'm using alcohol and just pouring it and letting it drip. Letting it blend in and using a cotton makeup pad to get my skyline and my horizon blended at the top of the photo. Excuse me, not a photo, the painting. I am working on Nara paper, which makes it easy to pull up ink when you want to either fix a mistake or take away some color. Now I'm adding a little bit of that Baja blue and blending it in with the cobalt blue. Again, kind of going in the motion of the ocean. Filling in that big wave that I have there. I have sped this up a little bit so that um, the video goes a little quicker and hopefully I maintain your attention. Going to take a little bit more blue here and start filling in. This isn't the sky, this is part of the ocean. And blending some of the color in together with the brush. Playing with that big wave I have there on the side. You'll see how this changes as the video continues. You'll see I use several tools. I use a brush, I use Q-tips, I use the cotton makeup pads. Blending some colors now with that pad. And getting some more of that ocean filled in. Now I'm going to take some more color, a little bit darker here again. And up, oh, you can see there goes that big wave I was started with in the sketch. But over time, you're going to see how that changes. Again, going in the motion of the ocean, adding some more cobalt there. Playing with the waves and blending all along the way with my brush. Sometimes adding ink, sometimes adding alcohol. When you see my hand hesitate, it's usually because I'm thinking about what's next. So now I go back up to the horizon and add some alcohol and just pour it and let it blend turning the paper in different directions. 
turning it this way so you can see it a bit better. <laughs> And then I'm going to blend it some more with that cotton pad. Now I'm taking my airbrush and blending some of the color. And you'll see I move the brush sort of in the motion of the waves to blend some of the color in there. Just adding some alcohol, not adding any more color and blending a bit more with the brush. Trying to get those waves a little higher there. And moving my brush in the motion of the waves. I keep going a little higher with them toward the horizon. Now I decide to uh, take that cotton pad and there goes that wave I initially started with when I sketched. <laughs> That's the, again, the beauty of alcohol inks. You can't really make a mistake. When you think you have, you might wanna just put the painting aside for a while and go back to it later. But you know, the ocean has variations. It's blue, it's turquoise, it's green, it's white. Uh, because of the foam and we'll go into uh, some of the foam here shortly so you can see how I create that. I'm taking a q-tip and cleaning up my wave a little bit. And now I decide I need to use the airbrush a little bit more to blend some of that color where the bigger part of the wave is. Here's where I start adding the foam. These aren't clouds, this is the foam of the ocean. Just dotting it with a Q-tip. Put a little alcohol on that tip. And imagine where you see the foam. I did have a picture in my mind before I started this painting. You can never really quite duplicate a picture that you see, but you can come very close and have an idea in your mind of what it is you wanna paint. Getting some shading there. Now I decide I need to clean some of that up a little bit. Just using a paper towel. You might find with different types of paper, like Upo paper, it's not as easy to get to the white. Here I added some green to the ocean and blending it in with my airbrush. Filling in some of the ocean so it all kind of blends. Making those waves a little bit higher. I've been on Kauai where we've had 60 foot waves at times. I was very blessed to have lived on the island of Kauai. Going in and creating some more foam with a Q-tip. You saw I just put a little bit of alcohol on that Q-tip. Now I'm going back to my slope. Wait, <laughs> the beauty of alcohol inks. Things keep changing, so I'm going back to that horizon with a cotton pad. And now I'm adding a little bit of that green. And blending that in. See how it's coming along? trying to get some light into the waves. You know, they're not always just dark, dark. There's a variation. And getting some more foam at the top of my waves. 
You'll see I do the foam in a variety of ways. Right now I'm using the Q-tip. See how it's coming along? I hope you'll watch this video first and then try it for yourself. Maybe watch it and paint along with me. Still playing with that Q-tip, adding a little bit more alcohol, getting some more foam up there at the top of the waves. I decide that Horizon needs a little bit more color. Pick up some of the green in the waves. adding a little bit of a darker green. And once again, blending it in with that cotton pad. Now I'm gonna take this cotton pad and use it to create some foam. With the cotton pad, if you can get a small, the, the drier the cotton pad gets, the tinier some of the dots will become in your foam. So just dab a little and see what forms. Now you see I'm doing some tinier dots up there in the corner. Alcohol inks is kind of a touchy feel. You look at what you're doing and say, mm, does that feel right? Should I add more? It's always kind of tricky to know when to stop. But here we are. I'm continuing with the foam. You see I'm going back and forth with the Q-tip and the cotton pad till it feels right. Now I'm using a Posca pen, a white Posca pen to not really outline, but to use dots to sort of define the waves a little bit. Because waves, as I said earlier, aren't just solid color. There's white, there's darkness. See, isn't that cool? Now I'm using a tiny brush to go back one more time and add some more foam, some tiny, tiny dots to the foam at the horizon, at the top of my waves. So we're getting toward the end of my painting and I hope you enjoy it and that you'll give this a try. Here are my ocean waves. Please remember to like or comment or share this video. And if you want to be notified of future videos, click on the bell. Thanks for watching.